elbows back, you know, like that, sis. What is up and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jennifer Ross back at it again with yet another video. Today's video is the second episode of my new series Girl Talk. And today I want to talk to you about confidence. I get that question a lot like Jenny how are you so confident or how did you become so confident? And I can only tell you one thing, I have definitely come a long way because it has not always been like this. I used to care a lot about what other people think of me. I used to be so ashamed of my body and I used to be super shy. I used to not feel good in what I was wearing. I used to think that I couldn't pull certain things off. And I just decided one day that I needed to let go of that. And it didn't go like over one night of sleep. It took some time, but I'm happy that I got, you know, a little more confident than I used to be. I came to the conclusion that confidence is just a mindset. It is the ability to rely on yourself. And it is to rest in assurance that when it comes to win or lose, you can count on you. So if you are a person who can use a little bit of help in the confidence department, I got you. Um, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks to help you be more confident. And if this is the first time you are seeing my face, then hey girl, welcome to my channel. I would love to have you subscribe so make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel also make sure you give this video a thumbs up and yeah let's just go ahead and get into this video so my first tip is to be clear speak without ambiguity be direct in what you're trying to say speak slowly because sometimes when you are shy or when you lack confidence, you tend to talk fast to get it over with. But no, just speak slow so that people can really understand what you're saying. And by speaking slow, you can also think about what you're saying. And trust me, it will make you come across more confident. And at the same time, look people in the eye, make eye contact. Because people who lack confidence, they tend to not look people in the eye and you come across way more stronger when you just look people in the eye when you're talking to them. Stop hiding, girl, stop hiding. Just look people in the eye, it will make you come across like super strong. And to go with that previous point, I also wanna say like, say hello, make it a habit out of your normal routine to say hello to people especially if you're walking for example on the sidewalk and your eyes meet with someone like coming um, approaching you just say hello it's completely free to be nice so just make that a habit stop hiding again stop hiding okay just say hello it's for free and it will make you feel good so my next step is to work on your posture. Put your elbows up, stand up straight, push the titties up, sis. Be that confident chick that you are and be proud. I mean, you are there to stand out. So be proud of who you are, stand up straight. So the next step may sound a little silly, but you need to try this if you are shy walk in the middle of the sidewalk okay life is a runway so just walk as if you're walking that runway sis like if people are looking just let them look but trust me it will help you so much and while you're doing it think about that posture walk straight up titties up elbows back you know like that sis be proud okay Okay, my next tip is to smile more. Smiling is the prettiest curve a woman can have. It brightens up your own day, it brightens up somebody else's day, and it's completely for free. You will feel so much happier when you're smiling, but at the same time, giggle less. 
Giggling is also a part of lacking confidence and being shy and especially like giggling in inappropriate situations like no girl no stop it sis you need to stop that like mm -mm, break that habit and stop it smile more but giggle less and my next tip is to find out what you're good at Focus at the things that you're good at rather than focusing on the things where you lack a little confidence or that you need to work on. Focus on the things that you're good at. It may be makeup, it may be hair, it may be like dressing very well, it may be literally anything. Try to focus on that because that is something that you know and therefore you can be confident in that field. So try to focus more on that and you know put that more in your life, sis. one of those people as well who couldn't take a compliment you know I thought it was so hard but I've learned to just say thank you and move on and if you are one of those people then you need to do the same thing just take the compliment it's yours it's completely free put that in your pocket be proud and just move on sis it's not that serious okay just just take the damn compliment So another great way to build your confidence is to set a goal that is very hard to achieve or that you think is difficult to achieve. We are the happiest when we reach our goals and especially the goals that we have set that were difficult to achieve, that took so much effort, but that we strive for and we achieve them. This is such a good way to build your confidence and I definitely recommend it. So set the goal and get the goal and you will feel so much more confident. Then my next tip is to write things down and organize your thoughts. By writing things down, you can see how far you have come. If you read it back in the future, you can see how far you have come. And this really, really helps me out. So at the end of the day, or when I achieved a goal that I was really working hard on, or that I thought was really difficult for me to achieve, I just write it down as a part of my reflection for the future. And this just is something really nice to look back on. So my next tip is to talk nice about yourself. Talk nice about yourself, be nice to yourself. And actually, how can you expect anyone to talk nice about you if you don't talk nice about yourself? Like, be nice to yourself, sis, and talk nice about yourself. It's just called self-love. So my next tip is to dress well. And maybe you are someone who is thinking right now, like, what has the world become? It is not that serious. Well, to some of us, it is that serious because your appearance is your business card, if I may say it like that. So for me, looking good makes me feel good. And also when I dress well, that is when I just feel the best. And this doesn't mean that it needs to be expensive or that you need to break the bank in order to look good. Looking good can be affordable. It's all a mindset and it's all about like the presentation. Iron your clothes, make sure you smell good and things like that. And also to me, this is just a little teeny tiny tip, um, making my underwear match makes a tremendous difference to me it's just a little secret for myself knowing like you know what under this this whole you know ensemble i'm one sexy bitch you know so try it out for yourself i also always make sure that i buy two panties with one bra and i make sure that everything matches so that i can that i can wear my bra maybe two times instead of just one time but yeah dress well and look the part and trust me, it will make you feel more confident. So the next one may sound very cliche, but therefore it is very true. But the point is to believe in yourself. Celebrate every little milestone because every little victory is one to celebrate. It is something that you have achieved. So therefore, I do think that it is important to believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, then who do you expect to do so, sis? I mean, come on now. Then the next one is to just 
mind your business. Focus on you, focus on working on yourself and break the habit of comparing yourself to other people. We have all been that person before, but it, it doesn't help your self-confidence, okay? So just break that habit and focus on you. And my last and final tip is to help others. Trust me, sometimes we all need help and I believe that we can get whatever we want if we help other people get whatever they want. Help each other out and trust me, it will help your confidence, you know? It will help you, that's all I can say. And just like that, we have come to the end of this video, amiga. This is all the tips and tricks that I have for you today on building your self-confidence. So I hope this video helps anyone out. I hope anyone needed this video. So yeah, that's that. If you have any topics that I can talk about in this Girl Talk series, then make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye!